Hey guys, Mal here and I'm fresh out of the shower and I wanted to come show you what to use in your hair for curly hair when you get out of the shower. I know it can be kind of confusing and so in the shower, you can see right over there, I used the Curl Line Shampoo and Conditioner. I love it. If you have curly hair, it's like a low lather shampoo. It's really hydrating, um, so, but it's not gonna weigh down your curls. So um, if you don't have curls, keep listening because I'm gonna tell you what I do to take the frizz and curl out of my hair when I'm wanting to curl it with the wand or lay duo or straighten it, okay? So right now I'm gonna speak to you curly girls. So everything I do for both styles is I come in with this detangler, the Extend Detangler, and I spray it all over my hair because if you know curly girl hair and you have product in it, you need to detangle it, okay? Then I come in with the paddle brush without the boar hair. With the boar hair is great for wet hair if you really need that shine and stuff, but I like this one. It reminds me of a good wet brush to just glide through your hair, okay? So this is what I do so that I'm not pulling hair and um, it just brushes it out. I actually comb my hair out. Some curly girls don't. Next thing I recommend coming in with the curl cream or the volumizing, volumizing mousse, okay? So the mousse has always been my go-to. I've always been a mousse and hairspray girl, but I get a little bit fuller, bouncier curls with a curl cream. Um, I've actually never really been a big curl cream person, but I love this one. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit on. It just helps it, like, I don't know, my curls, I just have way more curls with it. So I put this amount, I've got about, you know, kind of short to medium hair. I'm gonna show you what I do with it. start with a detangler as soon as you get out it's called extend it is just amazing it's got antioxidants in it so your hair is going to be less frizzy and uh, if you have tangles if you don't have tangles i would recommend using the envy the biotin leave-in conditioner okay smooth a little bit goes a long way so it's not too heavy and then you saw me use my curl cream okay and now my hair is very wet so i prefer a wet look when i'm wearing my hair curly everybody has a preference if you prefer a dry look this is when you whip out your diffuser Y'all, and this new Listylist comes with the diffuser or this. It literally is so tiny and weighs nothing. Anyway, and if you're gonna diffuse, I'm not gonna turn it on, you just grab it and do like this and curl it up. That's gonna dry your curls, okay? But since I like the wet look, I am a curl cream and hairspray girl. So I have the three-way hairspray. You can do light hold, medium hold, or heavy hold. Um, I'm a heavy kind of girl, and then I just spray it everywhere. All right, so this might be the country girl coming out on me, but I love the crunchy look. Of course, it's not going to look this wet as it dries. It will hold a little bit of the wet look, but it'll fill out as it dries, right? Because curly hair is, that's just what it does, and it'll start to have a lot more ringlets and bounce to it. So, love it. Now, if we're gonna talk straight here, what I do is as soon as I get out, I put you know either the detangler in or the leave-in conditioner, because leave-in conditioner will help with tangles, but then I take this thermal magic and I spray it all over while it's damp. And I like this one because it's not as drying, but it protects from heat damage and frizz and humidity. If you live in a humid environment, nah, here's the deal. I have thick, coarse, curly hair. So I go for an anti-frizz system. If you don't have thick, coarse, curly hair, you wanna go for a thick, volume so use your volume lines and use and use your ex, this thicket cream okay to really give you volume before you blow dry or style but my anti-frizz system so this is for if i'm going to wear my hair straight and i've already gotten the tangles out and i've combed it out i whip out an anti-frizz system with the hair polish okay a little bit goes a long way you can actually use this on wet or dry hair but it helps protect um from from heat as well it's also a thermal damage and give shine and it quickens the dry time the sorbet i use this sorbet it is a leave-in conditioner as well softening balm it also helps control curly frizzy hair so if you have curly frizzy hair you need the sorbet y'all and i put all of this in a little concoction in the palm of my hand and i rub it all over i use the hair lotion y'all this locks in shine and moisture and it also add volu adds volume so it can retain curl and reduce frizz it's very good the hair lotion and then i use the nourishing gloss, the satin nectar, all right? So it's got vitamins A, C, and E, antioxidants, keeps your hair really, really, really healthy, but also it's good for hard to tame hair. Um, so 
that is what I do straight from the shower because I get lots of questions about what product is what. Another thing I really recommend is try them. Read on the website what they do for your hair, what you feel, because there's a cup, there's a handful of shampoo lines that I love for my hair. Okay, um, I don't just use the curl line all the time. I use the keratin line and the marula marula oil line, and um, I when I have blonde in there, I'll use the the purple toning. So you just have to figure out what your hair needs at that moment and go from there. But the website does a great job of explaining it. So I hope this helps for you curly girls and for you straight girls. And see ya.